Like crazy is, I guess, a good word to describe how other people have seen it. For me, it's just been, um, it's been fun getting a chance to spend time with teammates, still working out, getting to do a lot of things I've always wanted to do, but just uh, living life and enjoying it. Uh, there was absolutely no truth to me not waking up due to being out the night before. Simply overslept. But the more than that, the talk and the rumors that came out um, about the other things um, weren't really true. I was really, really hard on myself because I was disappointed, and that can't means that can't means a lot to me. The biggest thing for me was was hearing from Eli and Peyton and, and everybody after, and realized there's there's no hard feelings. There wasn't anything, and, and the key thing for me was that they wanted me to come back next year. Uh, I'm I'm learning from it every day. I'm continuing. There's there's situations that happen that you that you learn from. I'm just trying to stay away from it. Just continue to try to keep my head down, keep as low profile as I can. Um, and just, I'm ready for August 4th to get here. I remember growing up uh, watching Michael Vick and Vince Young. Uh, those are guys that I loved watching them, watching them run the ball. Uh, Vince Young pump faking 10 yards down the field and making a guy jump up in the air was always awesome to me. I remember being a freshman at Tithing doing the same thing and thought it was the coolest thing ever. So those are two guys I kind of modeled my running game after. It's great, it's great. Nothing has changed between them. They, they understand, the leaders of the team um, are there for me. They text me and make sure everything's all right. I love those guys. Uh, I wouldn't be anywhere where I am without them. So they understand, and that's the biggest thing for me. Their, their opinion and my coach's opinion, my family, uh, that's what really matters to me.